Yo, what's up everyone? It's late Sunday night and I just finished putting together my task and my goals for the week and I thought I'd go ahead and give an inside look as to how I set up my task and how I plan out my weeks and to show you know how an actual week goes for me and so let me just start my name is jeffrey i'm the founder of lightbox digital we're a custom web design agency and before i used to just get stuck in client work and i don't know if you could relate but i would be so tied up into client work i would not have any time to put into my own business uh things like updating my own website work on all my portfolio um, and, and just all the things that I want to do like content creation and one of the big things that changed that around was proper task management and when I planned out my week and I put the focus not just in client work but also in my own business so let's go ahead and dive in let me show you what it looks like for my task for the week all right so here we go this is what I use I use Todoist uh, I, and to Honestly, I, anything that syncs across all devices works for me. I just personally love this one right here. But, you know, as long as I could get it on my phone, on my laptop, desktop, uh, with this one, I even get it on my watch. So that's kind of dope. All right. So, right here, I got this uh, uh, list right here called This Week's Main Focus. And these are my tasks and goals for the week. First, I start off with eat healthy and exercise consistently. And I put these at the top because uh, well, I don't know if you can notice, but I'm kind of a big guy. And this is an area in my life that I really want to change and improve on. And, you know, health is just it has to be number one. So next up is going to be complete Sean's assignments. Uh, I recently just started working with a business coach. I just felt like I'm at that stage right now where I want to invest more in myself and take my business to the next level and just thought working with someone who's already, you know, uh, many stages ahead is at where I want to get to, to, uh, you know, to work with. And right now we're currently putting together a marketing plan. So definitely this is the top of my list right now. Next up, I put up my client work. I set it all up. I look at what I need to get done for clients for the week. Uh, we got one client that we need to get a landing page built. Uh, we got another client we're just about finished with their website. So this week, the goal is to uh, complete the last bit of changes and updates and send it for a final review. And then we have uh, another client that has a good amount of updates that are needed, but also on a tight timeline. So, you know, I mean, client work, this is still super important. It's got to be a uh, top priority and we got to make sure we get it done quality and on time. So I group all these together and then I go over to my content creation. So I want to look at what I got to do for my content. Uh, first one is I got to build a slide deck for a new group call for the week. Uh, another one, I got to write and publish two blogs. Uh, another one is to make a video and upload it to YouTube every day. Uh, right now, I'm on a 30-day challenge. Uh, I, did, I gave myself this challenge to make 30 videos in 30 days. Basically, I'm new behind the camera and I need to get used to it and step out of my comfort zone. So I gave myself this challenge to make myself do a video every single day for 30 days just to get used to it and get more comfortable and to learn. All right, and next is to share all the content that I created. Uh, so anything like I create a blog, that should be shared to Facebook. Content could be reused to LinkedIn, Twitter. Uh, so we wanna make sure we get the most out of all the content that I create and put it out on all of our social media channels. All right, so next up, uh, reach out to Paul. He's a potential lead for a project. So I'll make sure we follow up on that. Uh, next one is to build the resources page for our website. Uh, basically, this is going to be a page where uh, we put our downloadable PDF slides, um, our videos, and uh, it's for our Facebook group. So I want a page where all the members for our Facebook group can come to and get the resources of the content and everything we're putting out. And then the last one would be to add a project that we completed to our website's portfolio. And as you can see, what I've done over here on the list is a few things. One of them, everything is 
attainable. Every every action in it, I have control of completing. And what I mean, let's take a look at this for example right here. Like you want to make sure your goals are attainable, that they're achievable and they can be done and there's control over it. So like for example, complete storage website and send to client for review. That's achievable right there. But let's say if I were just to put um, complete the storage website project and be done, that that isn't because there's other factors involved that I have no control over. I mean, you know, what if the client takes four or five days to review the project instead of two? You know, I don't have control over that. So I want to make sure everything is attainable that I can get done and that I have control over it and I could check it off the list. So that's one thing I've done. Another thing what I've done was I put focus on my business as well as my client's business and they're both important, but I want to make sure that it's all there in front of me because before when I didn't do this, I just did client work and I just got stuck in client work. And the truth is when I'm just stuck on client work and not working on my business, I'm not doing what I need to do to scale up my company and get to the next level. So once I got all these established for the week and I know what I want to get done and it looks achievable, I start to set up my uh, daily uh, uh, schedule, but I only start with uh, Monday and Tuesday. I don't want to go all the way throughout the week because I want to be able to like see where I'm at, see how the progress is going and be able to update. So first thing I do is on Monday, I like to start off with tasks that take minimal effort. I don't want to put the most difficult ones that take the longest time in the beginning. And the reason is, is when you start off with the minimal effort task, you can start checking things off the list quick and it, it just, it builds momentum. It gets things rolling. And Mondays, I'm a huge believer that Mondays are the most important days that it sets the pace for the whole week. So if I start off my Monday and we're just knocking off tasks, on Monday and then I'm, I'm already setting things up to be productive for the week and then I just keep on going through and once I get to finish up Tuesday I'll take a look back at my week's focus uh, everything I want to get done for the week reassess where I'm at and then you know build up my list and make sure we get it all checked off well that's it this is how I uh, manage my tasks. This is my process. I hope this can help. Uh, there are a lot of big things we could achieve. It's not all about just working on clients' work. It's not just about getting a new project or completing a project. There's a lot of things to do uh, when building a business, uh, whether you just want to scale up your freelancer business or you want to build a web agency. Well, I hope this helps out. Um, this is a new channel right here. Uh, so any bit of actions helps out with this. So, you know, like, subscribe. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. Also, um, if you have something that works for you, uh, also drop those in the comments. Uh, well, that's it. All right. Thank you.